Bismillah. Okay, for today's video guys, I'm gonna teach you on how to create a multi-boot USB refer gate and uh, operating system installer in a way like Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 and other refer gate. This is for both legacy and UEFI mode. So before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. First, open your Google Chrome or your browser. Or just open the link you found in the description below. Then wait uh, several minutes until the Mega in this uh, downloader we download the files. Now click download. Then uh, click OK. Wait several minutes while the file is downloading. Now open the containing folder. Just click it. And then after that, right click the WinSafe file and uh, extract it. Just click OK and then open the extracted files or, uh, or uh, folder and then select the exe file which is uh, 64 bit. Okay. So in the wind setup from USB 1.9 uh, installer up here, just uh, refresh. Make sure to insert your uh, USB at least 16 uh, GB or 32 GB. On the smaller one, is 8 GB is enough. Now click the down arrow and select the USB drive. My drive is 8 GB. This is uh, the USB uh, stick. And then check out to format it with the uh, FB ends in order to format automatically in your uh, USB uh, stick or USB drive and then select the option 2 which is Windows Vista 7 slash 8 slash 10 server 2008 slash 2012 Vista ISO just uh, check the the box and then browse it to browse your ISO files make sure that you you that you are already in, downloaded your uh, Windows uh, operating system uh, ISO like Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8 so on and so forth and then browse it so in my case i'm going to uh, create windows 10 ltac 64-bit
just click the ISO files and then uh, open or click open and then just click go and then warning all data and partition on your drive will be erased do when to continue so just click yes but make sure to back up files on your usb if uh, your usb is new so nothing to worry because your this this drive or your drive will be formatted so just click yes going to partition and reformat so click yes again and now the file is adding onto the usb so just wait a several minutes until then Now finishing copying large file. Okay, job done. So Alhamdulillah. Now just click OK. Okay. So I'm going to add again. So the same procedure just click the windows vista or the option number two and add another uh, repair kit or operating system if you want so if you add more uh, repair, repair kit you just uh, do the same procedure that depend to the capacity of your drive that's why it is advantage to use 16 GB or 13 GB uh, USB drive in order for you to add more repair kit. Okay, job done. Okay, now let's check our multi boot USB. Method number one. Open your USB creator. And then open when set up from USB. Click refresh to detect your USB. And then check this in Q EMU. Then click go. Then after that, so as we can see, now this is the legacy mode. So now let's check the UFI mode. Just select one on the list and press enter. So as we can see, this is now the result of our job. Now let's proceed to the method 2 of checking. And please uh, take note the following keyboard hot case. Now restart your computer. boot to bio setup in my case as if to and Lenovo idea fan then uh, change the boot mode to legacy exit and save changes and then press F2 to boot uh, menu then select USB it's DD and then Alhamdulillah 
And I'll check the UFI mode. Choose boot mode to UFI. Exit sub changes. And press F2 again for boot menu. So, Alhamdulillah. So, thank you for watching, guys. Hope that uh, this video helped you. And please, don't forget to subscribe my channel.